So we're off on a grand vlog because I've got annual leave this week. We're heading to Liverpool, Manchester and Birmingham. Three major cities besides London. And you're watching Florence Ballad A3060 on film. So I'm starting off at Ealing Broadway Station and we're taking the Elizabeth line, and it's the central line on the right, uh, taking us all the way to Tottenham Court Road because now as you know it's open through the centre, uh, through the centre and then up to Euston and then I'll jump on Avanti to Liverpool Lime Street. I hope to try and make the 12.07. So, so um, I will be doing full railway vlogs in Liverpool and Manchester but they'll be uploaded on my railway channel. Uh, this is just gonna do little clips of each little individual uh, stage I'm going. So you get to see more of the city and not more of the trains. The next station is Because I work for the railway, Avanti let me on and let me sit on the Coach G, which is a standard premium. Let's find a nice seat. There's a London North Western 350 to zero over there. It's a standard premium. Ah, doesn't work. That's it. So that's it. That was 11.55. 12 minutes to go. Doors will shut at 11 at That beautiful. It's the Intercity 125. In the train shed, let's go outside and explore. Look at this little windmill bar here. And look, it says there, you made it. Just as you come out the station there. So we'll meet on Mersey Rail later. Um, and then after that, I'll be getting on Northern 319, heading down towards um, Manchester. Christmas. So we're going to go and do a little bit of exploring, go to some of the shopping centre and then I'll see if we can find a British Heart Foundation around here. Oh, no. Christmas here, no? Why not? So nice Christmas here in this place. Got so the lower mall down there. And all the Christmas lights up as well. Very long journey. It wasn't too bad of a long journey actually. It was 
all the way from London, Euston to here, it's about two hours twenty, so about pretty much ten minutes longer than it takes to get to Manchester. So have a little explore around here, and I head to Manchester and go that way and check it out. Home bargains. There's also a Millie's Cookies here, and I definitely want to go there because I love those cookies. They're probably downstairs. Fifty for that. It's discount store there as well. So heading to the Christmas market, which is over this way, and then um, basically see where we what we can find there. Liverpool Christmas market. Old chocolate creations, eh? So look some stuff there. We've got photos as well. Wow. Little fun fair as well. Loads of lovely sweets. Lovely. Oh, oh, over here as well. Oh, Cadbury hot chocolate, look at that. Nice. Little place to eat as well. Look at like little teepees they are. Little other food stalls as well. Oh, they're not open, but there's traditional sweets here. Sugar dummy, so sort of fun fair things. Toasted marshmallows as well. So yeah, some pretty nice things to eat there. Look, never seen a teepee like one before. Maybe you can mail your stuff to Santa there. Oh. Mini Dutch, oh, that probably sell yet yeah, pancakes. Coconut tequila, wow, nice places. Cheese, oh there we are, German sausage. We have one in my local town as well. You've got on these smash sandwiches here as well. Look at these places here. Amazing little um, like fun for activities. Look at these traditional confectionery. Licorice, fudge, nougat, truffle. Some flavours they got there. You're gonna have a good appetite to be here. Mac and cheese. Look, look at that Nutella house as well. So yeah, some pretty interesting things there. Gourmet cheesecake, there's even more when you come out as well. That's just a partial bit of it. <coughs> Look at all this. Bavarian bar. I'll have a little walk around in the middle. We'll get something from it. There's a lot of food over there, but this might be where we can actually pick up gifts and whatnot. So you got for the World Cup for anyone who's in the football. The carousel here as well. <laughs> Noah, just for you. The North Pole. There you are. There's more sweets as well. There's a lot. It's mainly like a, a fair. Greek street food as well. God, for all that. Pick a mix. Got to have my food first so I can have any of that. Little wheel there. I don't know whether that's part of the Christmas thing or that always there. Yorkshire puddings as well, Yorkshire pudding wrap. I know that song. That one Christmas candy shop as well. So I actually walked past this, I actually went all the way around there and came around and I could have just come here. Oh, look at that. More candy shops as well. Lovely. There's even more down there as well. <coughs> wow, nice places. Here we go. A bit bumpy for also. Look at this. There you are. Some actual garlic graters. 
Here's where you can buy some actual gifts as well, dream catchers. There's so much food here, it's like being in America. Giant donuts, look at that. I may have to break break my rule of not eating proper food first. Mold wine. Quite like some of those drinks. Wonder how good Manchester's one's gonna be. Yeah. This as well. Oh. It's very nice um, memorial here. That's, be that's, be that's beautiful, that is. What's that, that sugar freezer or something? What is it? Al Danger, a finger free zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Warm wall place as well. We've got a place there. Lovely. So, they'd be very good for stuff like um, those bed socks that I use. I have some of the bed socks. Some nice food here as well. I was saying to myself, what's it eat before I get to Manchester, but who cares? I think I'm going to get something from here. So, we'll see what happens. I haven't gone around the Christmas market. Um, I think we're going to head to Mersey Rail now. I don't know what route I'll do. I'll have a look what line we're going to do. Just as long as we're on a 507 or 508. My pass should allow me to get free travel on Mersey Rail. So, here we go. Cadbury's classic hot chocolate with cream and marshmallow. So nice. Then after we're done with Mersey Rail, we'll get off at, uh, come back to Liverpool, Lime Street. And then I'll book my ticket and go to Manchester from it. Let's go. The full Mersey Rail vlog or journey is going to be on my uh, it's going to be on my train spotting channel. I will put the link in the description below. Seven depart five oh seven zero zero nine departing Liverpool Lime Street. Manchester Oxford Road rather than going to Manchester Piccadilly because my hotel is literally right next to this place so <laughs> many memories at this theatre here um, when there's press nights going on I used to always go there and meet Coronation Street cast um, yeah <laughs> I remember one day getting off at Deansgate on the Metrolink tram and I ran down here to try and get here quick Still on the eighth floor. Um, I don't. I, they've moved my room, double and single, to the left. I'm not sure if it. Not too sure though if it is going to face the railway line, but we'll have a look. Oh. I'm going to put my key in the way. Very fancy. Walking shower. Oh, double and bloody single. <laughs> Alright. So let's have a look. I mean, we can't, we can only open the window a little bit, I think. <coughs> I'll probably need a key for that, don't I? Trying to figure out my bearings. Hey, is that Manchester Piccadilly down there? Wow. Oh, we'll do some nice train spotting from here. I don't think that's Manchester Piccadilly. Well, that that's that Oxford Road then, is it? Well, okay. Whoa, we're on the eighth floor. So we're very high up. Nice Holland Express there. Lovely. Which one's for this one? Oh, okay. This is a Maldron Hotel. I've never stayed at one of these before, so 
may do a video on that. So that's good. I can shut my stuff in that when I go out. Lovely. All right. In that case, then heading out to the city, see what we can find now. Who knows? Head to the Arndell Centre. One place I've absolutely loved. Got my look, Christmas jumper on. Coca Cola. Holidays are coming. May I present to you? I believe this is voted the worst hotel chain in the UK, Britannia. It's a cheap hotel. I mean, I do love the fact it's got neon lights because I've got an album of neon light collections that I'm. It says Howell. It's just like in any city, I'm being vigilant. I'm not saying Manchester's dangerous, but I'm not so, also not saying it's safe. So I'm going to try and get a smaller camera. We're heading to the Arndale Centre. So you saw the one in Liverpool, and uh, this is the one in Manchester. This is Winter Gardens, uh, located in Piccadilly Gardens. That's <laughs> there. I like the idea of that. Someone playing music. I don't know how much is open still. I haven't actually had proper dinner, so i still yet to have that. So you've got the farmhouse kitchen. Where you can eat. Look at this. Now, this is something that the Liverpool one didn't have. Some of these little sculptures there. There you go, brownies. Wow, look at that. Maxi glass. So, I think I, I like the idea that I've got a good camera, but I need to get a much smaller, more discreet one for vlogging with because this one like, sticks out quite a lot. It's good for train spotting and plane spotting this one, but nothing else. Filming the machines. Right, on our way to the cement. Uh, on or something. Beautiful. Uh, right, see. Yeah, on or something now. There's two levels here. But it's, it's quite a big mall. However, the traffic center is a lot bigger. We'll just see what we can get to eat. I really am hungry. But I also want to be able to get sweets as well, so... I'm looking for Christmas decorations for Mum as well. Everything's open so late here. I didn't actually realise it, so... I'm going to have a look at that. It's time for some food now. And I've uh, spotted a restaurant where I am going to eat. Over there. No, not now, though. But I'm going to eat at the Tribe Slim Chickens. There we go. Oh no, it's closed. Millie's cookies. Damn it, I was going to go there. Never mind, go there tomorrow. The cookies are absolutely lovely there. And then we'll continue Christmas shopping. We've got uh, some slim chickens here. We've got uh, five tenders there chips, Texas toast, and spicy barbecue sauce, and a flake milkshake. She wants to go to Manchester. I've always passed this place when I come here. And I thought, I really want to go there. It's nice to be here in Manchester and do what I'm doing because I don't know many know about this, but when I used to come to Manchester, there was a girl that I liked over here. Some know who it is. I don't think I really want to explain because some people are going to be like, what? This, yeah. When you know who it is, but... And I used to make myself really upset coming here and like really heartbroken. I never came and enjoyed Manchester for what it was. I used to come here hoping to see her. So it's nice now to be finally here and enjoying the place and the city because it is actually really lovely. Coming from London, Oh yeah. Right. I'll finish this. 
Mm-hmm. Not sure where we're going. You can see it's a lot more empty now. I've just finished my food and I got on full. A lot of places are really closed. I mean, Victoria's Secret Pink's still open. Oh, I got no reason to go there, have I? It's next to Victoria's Secret. That's interesting. Because in Westfield, you've got... You've got... Victoria's Secret Pink one side and Victoria's Secret the other side. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sun. So I'm just... Listen to Duran Duran as I walk. You don't know, I'm a huge fan of them. Pan and ice. That's like ice cream rolls they do down there. That's what they do. I just love how big this shopping centre is. They've got their decorations up, it looks beautiful. Just spotted that lint. I think that's closed. Oh, I could always come back tomorrow for that. But that looks nice. Something smells nice there. Is there a Lush nearby? Or is it Rituals? Yeah, Lush. There you are. I know I can smell it. You always smell like bath salts, and that's it. Just smells really nice. Right, so what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to head out and then walk back. Tram going, Metrolink tram going through. And to the traffic centre. Traffic bar. This is uh, King Street here. No, not King Street in uh, Hammersmith. King Street in Manchester. There's more food down there. And lots of lovely decorations as well. I don't think this vlog could be more, more Christmassy if you asked it to be. I'm going to do a Christmas vlog as well. <coughs> Amy will be coming for Christmas as well. So that's going to be nice. I'm also seeing her this weekend as well. Nice. Gin bar. That'd be nice. But I'll absolutely love right in Manchester. These chewed houses you get. I've a huge thing for chewed houses. That's probably also it's mock chewed, though, but it's closer and it's a real thing. Right. However, saying that, I have got myself disorientated because I do not know where on earth I am. <laughs> All I know, I've just got to follow the signs towards. Um, what's to say here? Great Northern... Oh, Castlefield, there we are. Deansgate. Manchester, Victoria is that way. We're going to go left. Just in case any elevator guys watch my um, lift rail photography in New Zealand. Um, you know the other one? Vino Dunphy watches my videos. Oh. Didn't know that then. Number 808, come and get me. <laughs> Oi! No, 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 no. See, I can unlock it, but you can't. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a. Look at this lovely iron I got here. Yeah. Alright, so we're back. Um, got to update you guys. Uh, I've decided not to do. Birmingham tomorrow. Uh, reason because it's a lot of travelling. I've gone from Liverpool to Manchester, no, London, Houston to Liverpool to Manchester. So um, I'm not going to do that. Well, what I am going to do tomorrow is I'm going to go on a Northern Class 319. So I think they go from here to Crewe or here to, like, I mean, they do go to Liverpool, but let's not do that. Go to Crewe. It's so good to be here though again. I mean, I love Manchester. This is the thing. Um, I first came here in, last year in September. And I, uh, I was meant to do a vlog about it, but I never did. But I used to come here, for those who know, I did a vlog here. Um, I did a vlog here 
because there's a place here in Salford Keys called Media City, you guys know of it, because I did uh, a vlog there, and that's where they from Coronation Street. Here in the summer, summer, I've been here when it's warm but not hot, so, you know, I mean, there's actually some nice places along here. Maybe some cr cruises on the river. Um, that's that, guys, and I mean, I'm tired. I need some water. I don't. I just realised I didn't bring any drinks, like well, Coca-Cola or anything. I finished all that earlier. I'll just grab some water. I think I need to drink more water. You guys should be encouraging me to drink more water, because this whole week at work I've been on bloody Red Bull. <laughs> no, so well, not Red Bull in particular, but energy drinks, Boost and whatnot. Nah, I can't have that. Wake up tomorrow, check out here before eleven, and then that's it. It'll be on a three one nine's crew, and then back home. Um, I'm going to speak to Princess Nancy as well, who you guys haven't seen for a while, so yeah. Uh, I may have a shower and then relax. Alright, so this is the next morning. She's all packed up and ready to go. I've got an absolute tombstone of a bag to carry. I'm going to head off to Manchester Salford. That's the shopping centre. There's a British Heart Foundation there. And it's a place I've not explored, so I'm going to go on the bus. I'll take that out. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing Birmingham as you know, and that's it. That's it, we're going down. There's 15 floors here. Oh, this place, it's massive, this hotel. I definitely will come back here again. Salty shopping centre now. And uh we'll be heading to the British Art Foundation now. It's nice to be exploring this. So we're in the Salty shopping centre, it's nice to get breaks. <laughs> oh. What I'm going to plan to do is try and get on a Northern 319, so I may head back to Piccadilly and see what we can do from there. I've got steak bake, uh, cream my finger and Coca-Cola. It's very healthy, but you know. So, got to enjoy myself. Tiny market here, I think. It's a nice little place. It reminds me of um, the pavilions in Uxbridge. Three one nine three eight five. Lovely. Right, so I'm going to go home on the fifteen twelve from London to London Euston from Manchester Piccadilly. And uh, we were not successful in getting the three one nine today. But, what are the chances? Ah, 1001. We're on Alston Pendolino. Oh, there's a black one, thanks, eh? We're doing all of that, isn't it? Oh, a furbish one. Back home. I'm 
platform two. I've never got an office platform, so <laughs> check up all the platforms I've arrived at Euston on Avanti. Time to get on the underground now and head back home. Alright, so just letting you know guys that I've got home now, um, safely back home, and I'm absolutely exhausted. <laughs> about to get my bed ready and uh, settle down. But yeah, it was an amazing trip that we had. Uh, it was nice to explore Liverpool. I mean, I've been there before with my aunt's Kate and Uncle Gary, as you know. Uh, I did previously did a vlog there. But um, this is the first time I've probably been myself by train as well. Uh, got to go around on Mersey Rail, also, you know, that's, that's ticked off my list that I finally got to do that. Um, and then also Manchester getting to see that again. So it was really nice, um, I mean, especially all the Christmas markets. We have thought of an idea, it'd be nice to go with Amy at some point. If we don't go this year, then we can go next year. But yeah, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so back home, and I guess if there's any more railway vlogs or anything, they'll be on my train spotting channel, which is in the description. At the moment, the name is King's Cross Thames Link, but I'm probably going to change that at some point to something else. And yeah, that's that. So, thank you all for practically coming along on that with me. Um, my attempt at doing a more proper vlog. So, I mean, it's not the best. I'm not like the big vloggers. But, you know, there's some vloggers who I do look up to on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, I try and do it from that. You know, I'm not a full-time vlogger. And that's that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.